I'm back. I'm going to tell you where I've been. That's coming up. This is the Red Podcast. Here's your host, David Hooper. David Hooper here. This is the Red Podcast, the podcast for experts. Hadn't seen you for a while. It's been three months since I've released an episode of Red Podcast. I don't have an excuse for that, but I am going to tell you where I have been. One of the reasons that I have not released a podcast is because I kind of got behind. Again, no excuses, but I got thrown off. I was working on a trilogy with Jeff Sanders. I followed Jeff from the time he signed his book contract about a year ago through the bookmaking process, recorded the second episode right after he completed his manuscript. That was about eight months in. And I just did the final episode right after he had launched his book. It's called The Free Time Formula. It's a great book. I'll have more information on that shortly and a little bit more on that trilogy later in this episode. I was working on that. Jeff's book launch got changed up. I got caught up in my own book. It's coming out in about two months. Just finished the fifth version of this book. I've done several books. And there's always the book you think you're going to write and the book that you end up writing. And I've experienced that five times. I'm no longer working with Wendy as the editor. You may remember Wendy. She's the one who described my initial manuscript as... It's just a big jumbled mess. And she was right. And she was right. And we tried and tried and tried to get it back together. Ended up bringing a couple more editors in. And it wasn't that Wendy was bad. I just wanted to bring in new eyeballs on it. That's sometimes what it takes to get a book out. And I think that had I not been through this process before, had I not been so dedicated about getting this book out, it might not have come out. But I know the power of a book, my last book, it came out about five years ago, still getting letters about it, still getting tweets, emails. People come up to me, oh man, I read your book, it was so good. Literally every week I have somebody contact me about this book. I haven't actively promoted it for five years. Still selling, still making impact, and I wanted to do that in a new market. And to be completely honest with you, I think that's one of the reasons that this new book project has lasted as long as it has. It's a new market for me. It's an unproven market for me. I don't know if people are going to like what I've got to say. This book, by the way, it's about podcasting and marketing through podcasting. I've been doing radio for a long time and doing podcasting for a long time. And I wanted to share the marketing lessons that I've learned, how to build a business, spread your message, get a bigger audience, make a better connection with that audience, make money by spreading your message through podcasting. It's much like this podcast, though. That's what this podcast is about. It's about how to reach your audience, expand your audience, develop your audience, deliver your message to that audience. This book is just specifically about podcasting because I didn't want it to be all over the place. Speaking of, I've been doing a daily podcast about podcasting. It is available at bigpodcast.com. The podcast itself is called Build a Big Podcast. Available wherever you get your podcasts. Been doing it daily. Started this back in November. Reason I did is a fluke. I wanted to get better at podcast hosting as long as I've been doing radio. And I started in 1991. I was a freshman in college. Did that because I wanted to play my own music on the radio. Didn't know that that was illegal. (laughs) I also didn't know that the college radio station played jazz. And I was not a jazz musician. The rock guy. (laughs) But I did it during college. I did it during post-college. Went away for a little while. Picked up my current run in 2005. That's when I got into podcasting. Had my syndicated broadcast show called Music Business Radio, which is still on the air. And I've learned a lot about broadcasting and podcasting during that time. Wanted to put it in a book, see if I could impact some people that way. Speaking of books, my trilogy with Jeff Sanders. About a year ago, he told me he would never sign another book deal. Ran into him about 51 weeks ago. He said, hey, just signed a book deal. I said, what the hell, man? We got to put this on tape. I want to know why you did it. I want to follow you through this process. We're going to see if this book deal is like the last one that you did. So I got him right after he had signed his contract. I got him right after he had done his manuscript. Did a third episode with him. That was right after the book was released. I've packaged that up into a trilogy of episodes. And that got me thinking. I've got this trilogy that talks about how Jeff got his book out. 
I'm in the process of putting my next book out. This is the podcast for experts. You're looking to spread a message. A book, it's a great way to spread your message. I'm going to be talking very heavily about podcasting here in the near future because my book is about podcasting. And before I get into that, I thought, why not dive a little bit into books? Because if you're a speaker, if you're an expert, if you're a podcaster, a blogger, if you're somebody with a message to spread, a book is an excellent way of doing that. Like I said, five years ago, that's when my book came out. Every week, somebody contacts me. They said, man, your book changed my life. I'm not making that up. People love my last book. And I'm hoping that the current book that I'm working on, the new book coming out, I hope that that has the same effect on people. But I don't know. It's scary. It's a brand new market for me. I don't know if people are going to like this book or not. Will I be accepted in this new world of marketing via podcasting? I'm going to talk all about that. I'm going to talk about writing the book. I'm going to talk about rewriting the book, tearing it down, rebuilding the book, working with a great editor. She got me through my last book. That's the book that's still getting great comments but not working with her anymore because I needed to bring in a fresh pair of eyes to look at this new book, to see that I'm doing everything that I can to make it the best book that it can possibly be. I'm going to be going deep. I'm going to be talking about some very personal stuff, the fears, looking at myself. Why haven't I been able to get this book out? It's been years. So if you're somebody that has been thinking about getting a book out, you've made an attempt Maybe you've made a couple of attempts. Maybe you're like me, you've written, rewritten, rebuilt it. I think this is something you're going to get a lot out of. That is going to come up. You can expect that to start up in the next couple of weeks. Thank you for sticking this out with me. Appreciate the fact that you are a subscriber and are listening to Red Podcast. If you've got questions, you've got comments, reach out to me, redpodcast.com. Again, that is how to subscribe to make sure that you do not miss this trilogy of episodes with Jeff Sanders talking about his book process, getting a book deal with Wiley, how that went, the good, the bad, the ugly, and also my book process, getting the book out, not only from the creative standpoint, but also from the publishing standpoint. You know, I used to have a deal. This is way, way back in the day. It's one of those dummies type books, the orange ones called The Idiot's Guide. Didn't like the deal, walked away from it, and I started self-publishing. So if you're looking for a different perspective, I'm going to give you that self-publishing perspective. I've had offers since that initial deal to sign a publishing contract, sign licensing deals for the books that I've already had out, have turned them down. I'll talk more about that. I'll be talking about all sorts of things. If you've got something specific that you're curious about, reach out to me. Redpodcast.com is how to do that. Just fill out the form. Let me know your questions, what you want me to cover. I will do my best to get that here on upcoming episodes of Red Podcast. Thank you for listening. New episodes coming out in a couple days. I'll see you then. You've been listening to Red Podcast. Never miss an episode. Subscribe now with your iPhone, Android, or via RSS at redpodcast.com.